It is a myth that these insects burrow into human ears and lay their eggs on human brains. Earwigs can look quite menacing with their abdominal pincers, which, when included in their body length, can help them reach up to three inches in size. But these insects aren't harmful to humans. Earwigs aren't venomous, though some can release an unpleasant odor when threatened, which has been described as smelling like battery acid. While they may bite, some earwigs are so small their bite can't even be felt. The bigger ones might pinch, though they tend to only do so defensively. Earwigs prefer dark, humid places where they can be up against cozy surfaces. That's why they're often seen in basements, crawl spaces, and under rocks. And while it's true a human ear is an enclosed, dark space, and it is possible for them to crawl into a human ear, that doesn't mean they're out to get you. In the exceptionally rare cases that an earwig does crawl into a human ear, the earwig likely wants out just as badly as it's wanted out. So, now that we've gotten all of that out of the way, let's discuss how awesome these animals are. There are nearly 2,000 classified earwig species, and they live all throughout the world except for Antarctica. Earwigs are amazing insect parents because the moms of all studied species protect their young until they're ready to head out into the world. Earwig nests are not built in brains, they're built on or in the ground, usually in a secluded place, like under a rock. Males may fight over females using their pincers. They may also hold the female with their pincers while mating. Earwigs are sexually dimorphic, as males tend to have curved pincers, while females have straight pincers. After mating, the two part ways. The female can store the male's sperm for months until she's ready to lay her eggs, though some earwig species give birth to live young. The mama earwig will lay 20 to 60 eggs and spend the next few months tending to them, clearing them of fungi, licking them with antifungal saliva, and in some cases giving up her body to feed them in order to ensure they're well-nourished for the outside world. Of course, other species will eat their own babies if the kids don't leave the nest fast enough after hatching. Eggs are typically laid in autumn, cared for over winter, and the young emerge in spring as nymphs. The nymphs look like smaller versions of the adults without wings. It's believed the name earwig comes from the myth that they purposefully crawl into human ears, though it could also be in reference to their wings. Not all species are winged, but those that are have ear-shaped hind wings, which may have given rise to this common name. Earwigs are generally described as omnivores, though some species are known to be more predatory, while others may focus on decaying material. For example, some earwigs live in close association with giant rats by eating the fungi on the rat's skin. They're sometimes considered pests because they can cause harm to gardens. However, they're also known to eat aphids, similar to ladybugs, so they can also be beneficial. Sometimes earwigs use their pincers to capture and hold their prey, and they may also use them in defense against predators. Predators to earwigs include beetles and other insects, reptiles like toads and snakes, and birds. On average, they live about a year. Thank you to our patrons, Spike Spiegel 93 Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. Thank you to Alter Ego and Parasitic Graffiti for today's request. For more facts on earwigs, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.